the Pacific Blue Tang lives in the Pacific Ocean, they can also be found in the Indian Ocean from East Africa to Micronesia. Near Australia and Indonesia, there are plenty of surgeon fishes, 36 through 43 per 10 kilometer grid. Their homes are the coral reefs that grow along shores, where they rest in narrow holes and crevices. The coral protects the blue tang from predators such as tuna, barjanks, and tiger groupers. They regularly feed on algae and use their small, sharp teeth to keep the coral clean. The blue tang is very important to the life cycle of the coral reef. They eat excess algae in the reef, which prevents the coral from suffocating. About 40,000 eggs are expelled per spawning session. After spawning, the parents swim off, leaving their offspring behind. According to the Marine Aquarium Societies of North America, the fertilized eggs are cast adrift and become part of the plankton soup. About 26 hours after fertilization, the eggs hatch and live in the soup until it is time to metamorphose into juveniles. At that point, they settle into a coral habitat where they complete the metamorphosis. Baby blue tangs are called larvae. Blue tangs are identified by their bright blue coloring, oval bodies, and yellow flag-shaped tails. Their pectoral fins are also yellow. Adults have a narrow line of dark blue along their dorsal fin that curves back at the tail. Juvenile blue tangs are bright yellow with blue spots by their eyes, and their fins have light blue tips. Their bodies become blue as they mature. These fish have a sharp and venomous spine at the base of their caudal fin or tail fin to protect themselves from predators. The caudal spine contains a toxin that can cause severe pain to small predators as well as humans. <laughs>